It's a beautiful day today. The sun is out. It feels like a crisp spring afternoon. It's time for lunch and I have nothing prepared. The morning was busy and an afternoon is also. I'm planning to make something easy but delicious. I want to try this new recipe. I'm leaning towards soup. Who doesn't like a cup of warm soup on this chilly afternoon? The soup I am planning to make today is a new recipe. It involves apples, carrots, and a bunch of spinach. I am using honey crisp apples because I like their taste and they are my favorite. I love the sweetness and the darkness of honey crisp. But it's totally up to you which apple you would like to use. I say use the one which is your favorite. I'm chopping the apples roughly, not wasting my time to make them equal size. Because end of it all, or they will end up in the blender and we will make a smooth soup. I'm going to add spinach to my soup. I love spinach. The bright green color makes me believe that my body is getting the nutrients that it needs to flourish. Normally I buy spinach from the local vendors. I avoid using packed spinach from Costco, a giant Harris Teeter. I can feel the crispiness of the leaves when I buy spinach in a bunch from local farmers. It is all about eating healthy and eating fresh. I try to use as much as I can the fresh ingredients in my cooking. I'm going to use about a cup and a half of fresh spinach. You can also use frozen spinach 
if you have it lying around. But if you have fresh, use that one. Growing up, my mom used to make a lot of soups, but mostly it used to be of tomatoes. Tomato soup used to be a family favorite, but now that I am the boss of my kitchen, I experiment with different vegetables different combinations. The good thing is my family is not scared of trying new things and that makes it easier for me. Next I'm going to chop carrots. The orange color makes me so happy. Carrots are our family favorites. I put them in my morning smoothie. Stir five vegetables and even in rotis or chapatis. What's not to like about carrots? They are so healthy. I'm going to chop them in big chunks. Next, I'm going to chop onion. I'm going to use only one onion for this recipe. And I'm using red. I'm using red because I'm from India. And from growing up, I have seen red onions being used in Indian dishes. But you can use white, yellow, whichever you fancy. An inch of the ginger, which is one of my favorite spices. I add it to everything, even in golden milk that I prepare every night for myself and my girls. Next is garlic. Another.
it won't make any difference in the taste but preferably they should be added before apple and carrot I'm not a great cook. Neither do I like to spend hours in kitchen. So all my recipes are quick fire. But my family says I cook delicious food. So there you go. That's the main purpose to keep the family happy and well fed. I'm adding water, but if you have vegetable stock, you can add that. Normally, I make vegetable stock at home, and I have none left in the fridge. so i'm using water i totally avoid using store bought stock well that's me but if you have go ahead and use it but let me tell you the water will taste as good as the stock I'm going to let it simmer for about eight to nine minutes. Just when apples and carrots are tender, I don't want to overcook them because overcooking kills the nutrients. be careful when you transfer it to a blender it's really hard i'm using vitamix but you can use any blender that you have to blend this goodness into a smooth paste as i was telling you that today is the day of forgetting things ha we got you i totally forgot about things so i'm going to stir fry them for a couple of seconds before transferring them to the blender It's totally up to you if you want a smooth soup or something with a bite. My girls prefer smooth, so I'm going to blend it well. Now it's time to get ready the masalas and the tempeh. I'm going to start with a little oil and asafoetida hing. Then add salt, red chili pepper, uh, powder. Pepper or powder, choice is yours. Turmeric, coriander powder. 
I will not give you measurement, not salt two teaspoon or something because I believe it's totally up to you. Everyone has different taste. So make it your own. Give it your own spin. You will be eating the soup. So better make it to your liking. My family loves spicy food. So I'm going to add red chili, turmeric, coriander powder and salt. Be careful when you transfer the blended soup to the pot because when it hits the hot pot it's going to splutter around and might burn you. For me, it spluttered all around the gas stove. I will try to stir it to avoid sticking to the bottom. And in about two to three minutes, our soup will be ready. My kitchen is not sparkling clean because I cook a lot and after cooking cleaning is the job that I hate but I have to do. Normally, I don't taste my food while cooking, but this one I will because I'm making this recipe for the very first time and I would like to know how it tastes before I serve it to my girls. I want them to like it because it's so healthy with apples, carrots, spinach, ginger, garlic. If the soup is on a thicker side, add more water. It's done. Time to plate it. Lunch is ready. It's delicious as it is, but like everyone else, I have my own preferences. Lime juice. I'm going to squeeze a little and drink my soup with crackers. It smells so good and I'm sure it will taste as good. Let's try to make this soup and let me know if you liked it or not.